Guys, it's Monday. It's Monday, yeah. Just had our spin planning with IC. What we're doing this week? Yeah, for me, it'll be all Sky Stead Ranch uh, store page stuff. So, finishing off the logo and starting the background assets as well. So, everything that goes behind the logo essentially will be done this week. So, yeah, it'll be a lot of design work for me. Yeah, hopefully, we'll be getting the store page set off this week. Um, we'll be announcing it in the future, like, for a while, but <laughs> the store page will be set off. Uh, but for me, AI stuff. Um, I need to get that finished basically, uh, so it'll be a lot of work on that. Yeah, very good. Um, and for me, so Hexy is all finished up, but we're doing the achievements and get the announcements for the release days on Friday. Um, but on that, should be mostly group, so there's a few levels I have to do for the Space DLC, which come out later this month as well. So I'm working on that, getting as much of that done as I can. Yeah, so I've been working on some UI for the creatures. So now when you actually highlight them, you get this little pop-up. Um, it tells you a bit of information about the, the creature that you're looking at. So you get a name, um, sort of like what their attitude is. Um, at the moment, it's just tied to... Uh, so you see the fawn's intrigued with these guys dead. At the moment, it's just tied to their happiness. So when they're in this grey state where they can't leave this outside edge, that's what they'll say, but hopefully one day they'll um, be a bit more intelligent, like what they're actually doing, what they're sniffing at, stuff like that. And yeah, and you can see there's some uh, actual requirements. So you can actually see what the creatures want you to do for them to actually enter the garden. So Shelly here wants the Cracker to be removed, um, which I'll do in a sec. Um, the Bow wants some water, stuff like that. So it gives you, it actually tells you what you're supposed to do in the game, which is kind of important. And okay, um, when this Shelly's finished from uh, the exploding animation. There we go. Uh, you can see when I hover over it, um, you've got a little tick and it says that he likes his sky stead. It shows you the next uh, criteria, which is to basically clear up more of the earth, um, which is kind of cool. And we've got something similar for the bow as well, because I added a bit of water very messily. Yeah, so you can see that the um, he wants some more water in the world, but it's actually tracking the stats properly and stuff like that. So yeah, um, it's just very cool to be able to actually see what the creatures want now. Okay, so I'm going from home today, and um, my apologies that I didn't actually make a recording yesterday. I completely lost track of time, and there was a lot of back and forth between me and the guys on the design of the Skystead logo. But as you can see, I put in a lot of extra hours yesterday trying to get this thing um, as close to done as possibly can so today that I could focus primarily on colour and shading but yeah as you can see now I'm going around and adding in all the shading work and the reason I've chosen to as an illustrator is that because um, essentially illustrator uses vectors which means that um, I can export this into any program and I won't lose any quality so if I zoom in way here you can see there's absolutely zero pixelation as far as I go doesn't make a difference how far in I go, there's no pixels much of it. And I can do that in Photoshop as well. So essentially I could bring this into Photoshop into a really huge file and export it for the guys in any which way they need it. So yeah, um, it's going to be a bit of a long day just getting all the shading done. But hopefully by the end of it, um, it'll look really cool. So yeah, my day has been spent uh, making more bullet levels for the next DLC space. And this one here finished up quite like this one. Um, gone for a similar theme to one of the previous DLC levels with the sort of circular outline bordering it. Uh, but yeah, a bit of a UFO abducting if you head up to Trello. Uh, get a bit of a better look here from the actually completed level. And yeah, again, I'm really, really quite like this one, one of my favourites done so far. But I've done a couple other smaller ones as well, so we've got sat in here. Um, thought I'd do a bit of a larger uh, version of the planet because I just already covered this one in one of his levels. Uh, this one here. I've got a little bit of a satin in this level here, but I thought I'd give it a bit more detail and give it a bit more of a, a bigger centerpiece. Um, and I just also put together this really quick level. Um, it's really quite small, but the benefit of this level is if we head over to the actual level. See, so with this level, um, you can't actually tell what it is until you've made the, the, done the roots. Because it is just, I believe, from what I can see, those, this is the, the layer of the stars for this piece of sky where this constellation is. Um, so without the actual constellation in there, it's just completely un unrecognizable of what it could be so it is wednesday uh, just after lunch now i thought it was a day of making wood levels so i've gone through i've made a couple more levels already which is quite good those couple of corrections from ic that i've pushed back uh, or that i've, that I've uh, made corrections to that ic's pushed back on um, and yeah as i said i've got a couple of levels done here as well which is quite good but i took a little break from making levels i had a little look through trello here and i realized it is a wednesday before the release of the hexy dlc 
So the achievements he's doing as well, uh, which I did totally forget about in this morning's uh, stand-up. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break from making levels and quickly get these achievements uploaded to Steam and get that all tested. Okay, so I've been working on some more AI stuff. There's a bird. That, that's definitely being picked up on the mic. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, been working on some more AI stuff. Um, so adding extra things so they blink. Um, and now when you interact with them, I've got this little debug thing that tells me which behavior they're working on at the moment. I kind of like it actually, it's kind of informative. Um, so I might keep it, but flesh it out a bit. Um, so right now this spike is trying to find a creature. Um, he's gonna fail in a second and you can see that he's, uh, when he fails, he gets sad. Um, there's a lot of um, like dynamic behaviors that sort of happen. So if he did find a creature and managed to interact with it, he would have done the happy animation. You can now interact with Spike. So when you click on him, um, he starts to follow you and he'll just follow you around. So if I interact with Spike again, um, he's gonna stop um, following me and then he should go to sleep. And there you go, you get little Zeds appearing above the above the heads and their eyes um, actually shut, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I've just been adding a bunch of behaviors like this. I'm gonna continue doing that. Um, Oh, oh. There's another thing. There's another thing to show as well. There's another thing. You can feed them now as well. Um, so the rabbit is obviously going to like the carrot. Um, we haven't actually got um, likes and dislikes in the game yet. I think that's going to be a job for next week. But the idea is that you can feed um, all the creatures various things, and then you work out um, what they like and what they don't like, and you sort of like take notes and add it to a little Pokedex thing. So it's kind of cool, but right now um, it just makes them happy <laughs> when you feed them. <laughs> okay, so apologies if you can hear anything from outside. I've got all the windows open, it's quite hot here in the UK today. And um, as you can see, the, the background is coming around quite nicely now. And um, the logo is finished, as you can see, it's in the middle there, just as a sort of um, centerpiece, so I can work around it. But it's looking pretty good. Um, I kind of got thrown off with the different types of dimensions that I needed to do for this kind of background so it isn't exactly how I envisioned it but um, at least for now because I'm on quite a bit of a tighter deadline it'll do um, so I'm going to essentially work on this character I'm going to put some little slime boys next to him and spike and then I'm going to do some touch-ups and then send off the guys so I can get to work on some other stuff that needs doing Okay, so um, a little bit of a change of pace. Today, I thought I'd just quickly whip up um, a quick slime concept board, as he's the only cat that doesn't have one, and um, the slime was definitely a character that I kind of just whipped up in a random morning, and um, where I didn't really have too much to do. I thought a quick little character um, might be a great idea to do, so I did him, but I didn't do any concept for him, so like I said, I felt bad, and I quickly whipped up a new board so you can match along the others. Although I only got two images done today, um, it took longer than expected. And I think the reason for that is because these images are a lot larger. So I've done here the Apollo Luna module. Um, and yeah, see so he's done the style of the blueprint. I did find quite convenient sort of line art of it, or sort of line diagram of the uh, the build of the, uh, the module. So it was quite easy enough to, to, uh, to put the pins over it, but it did take quite a while because if you can look closely, there is quite a number of pins and it is a, yeah, quite a large level. As well as that, I've gone ahead and created this one here, which is, I'm going to probably butcher the pronunciation, but Laika, um, which is a, it's the dog that the Russian space program sent to uh, space, first dog in space, and there's a statue of it, um, which I've used to trace over, and it looks all right, don't think it'll be a bit improved, but I've put it into the uh, section for feedback um, and to be QA tested as well, because. Overall, it is quite a decent looking level, but not too sure on these broken lines here. So I'll see, get the feedback from the rest of the guys and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's been quite a productive day. And right now I'm just making these subheadings for the Steam store page for Skystead Ranch. As you can see here, I've already made one. This is for your, your Skystead um, subheading. It looks pretty good. The guys seem to like it. Um, it's sort of a version of the logo that's essentially just cropped down and took a bit of the detail out to make it a bit more of a cell shaded. A bit more of a clearer design as um, if it was busy it'd be really hard to read from a uh, quite a, such a small sort of view which this one will be a lot smaller and right now i'm doing the same for this um version right now which is called um make new friends which is coming on quite nicely as you can see i'm just adding in the shadows right now so yeah i just need to do that same shadow process while these rings and i think i've got a few subheadings to go after that so it's going to be a bit of a um a bit of a slow process to get this all done but it's um not vital for the store page so I'm not essentially, essentially rushing through them. She had two main things today. First one was Hexied announcements, because uh, Hexied is coming out tonight, so that's all ready to go. And got the announcements there. They were all scheduled across all the platforms as normal. 
Um, but the big task today was finishing up the Wooloop DLC. So I uh, finished up the minor changes to the Icy Pushback and I've gone ahead and I've just finished QA testing all the levels that did QA testing as well. You can see here, I have about seven or so of them. Um, and they've all been tested and I think there's only three that have been pushed back and two of those very minor changes as well. So yeah, it's come on really well. The DLC is pretty much ready to go a week early. Okay, so I just got done streaming and um, it was really fun streaming we managed to carry on a lot of progress with the well. As you can see, the wooden frame is done now, it looks really cool. Um, I'll probably make a few more tweaks um, off stream and stuff and get a few more things touched up and a bit more tidy. Yeah, it's not really cool and right now I'm going to continue um, working on Skystead stuff and I'm going to work on the loading screen for the game, so it's going to be good fun. Okay, so it's been a bit of an odd couple of days for me. Um, I've been mainly working on trying to get this store page approved for Skystead Ranch. So you can see now that we've got the artwork, all the artwork that Jack's been doing the past week, all cropped and adjusted and stuff to fit all the various aspect ratios. We've got this um, visible now, which works quite good. You can see my desktop's an absolute, absolute mess, but but yeah, it's looking really, really good. Um, and we managed to finally submit the store page off yesterday and it actually just got approved today, which is really fast for them. Um, I do have a bit of an issue with the screen screenshots we've taken. You see a lot of them have a lot of bugs, like the flowers aren't supposed to be in the water and stuff like that. And the flowers aren't supposed to be in rows as well. So there's quite a few bugs that I've, I've, I've just straight up taken screenshots of, but I'll, I'll get better ones, I'll get better ones. Um, in fact, most of my day today has actually just been bug fixing to try and get the, a build that's working a lot better. Um, but yeah, I've also got these assets as well and a store page description, yeah. I've just gone ahead and made that live, so um, feel free to wishlist it. It, it won't be out for a while, but, <laughs> but, but the store page is live now, which is, which is great. Rob Lee! Hello. Hello, it's Friday. Yeah, Friday. End of the week. Yeah. What have we been up to? Nope, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Monday, Jack. Well, we've got Hexies coming out later yes. today, um, but... By the time this video comes out, it'll be Wooloop, it'll be the space pack. Um, I think we're pretty much wrapped up with that, just some final QA to do. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, so we'll talk about the DLC for this month. Uh, but as always, thank you to everyone in our Discord server. It's getting more and more lively, which is really great to see. Thank you much for that. And as always, thank you much to our patrons as well. They help us out every single month uh, with your support. So thank you very much. Add, add Skystead to your wish list as well, because we've got that live yes. now. Yeah, do, do, do that. Do that. Wish list, wish list, please. Thank you. Thank you. Ha <laughs> <laughs>